537. Let's hope they find that little dog. Uh, yeah, Ninja, nice looking uh, pooch yeah. there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, what a difference, uh, uh, Kyle, with that cooler air and our forecast completely, you know, just thrown out the window. And that we had thunder the thunderstorms and last, last night. night. Yeah, yeah. A little excitement, exactly. Uh, some cold showers overnight, and now I see a little clearing in the backdrop here. So, there's almost everything in the short term forecast, which means there's also something in there for the weekend you're probably not that excited about. Uh, this weather report brought to you by Cowell Volkswagen. So, what we're seeing around the region right now is that deep low that went on through and triggered the thunderstorms again. That was the leading edge of the colder air that went through. We watched it yesterday tracking down the coastline over Vancouver Island. Now it's a huge pool of cooler air province wide. So although it's clearing on the coast right now, it's not expected to stay that way for very much longer. Uh, current conditions in the Fraser Valley. It is quite a wet start to this Friday morning. A number of showers being reported all the way from Hope to Chilliwack to Mission where it's 8 degrees. Maple Ridge 10 degrees right now. Some drying occurring over southern areas close to uh, Langley and Alder Grove about 9 degrees. Uh, forecast high for the valley today. It's only 15. I fully expect showers to be redeveloping into this afternoon. No clearing whatsoever at all for the Fraser Valley today. Mind you, for Metro Vancouver, it's not going to be all cloudy nor all wet. We're seeing some clearing on the coastline already. 10 degrees in downtown Vancouver. By the water's edge, a couple of spots in West Van reporting 8 degrees. So through the Burnaby Corridor, eastward into parts of Delta and Surrey, some showers moving through. They'll probably be over and done with in the next hour or so. Your forecast high in Metro Vancouver. Well, it's a mostly cloudy 16. I do believe it dries out quite nicely throughout the day, but those breaks of sun, they'll be shrinking as more and more clouds reform and sort of fill in all the gaps this afternoon. How about the long range picture? Okay, here's the part we'll all be disappointed about. That Saturday looks wetter with every update. It's more than just a few showers tomorrow. I think it's a rainy, windy Saturday. Then it's all long gone early Sunday morning. So we're back on track for pleasant conditions by Sunday afternoon and evening. Some sun at about 17. Next week, warming up all the way through with those temperatures. They're in the 20s and it's sunny for several days in a row. But Thor, I guess there's some big puddles out there for our morning commuters today. Yeesh, and that's not faring well for my uh, Alabama Shakes concert. I know. Yeah. Too late park tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be disconnecting my phone when you're trying to get a hold.